<laughs> what a good boy. Yeah. And I've been riding since I was three, I guess, as long as I could get on a horse. I've always wanted to be a veterinarian since I can remember that there was such a thing. Taking care of horses yes. is more than a job for 92-year-old veterinarian Dr. Fred Lewis. It's a lifestyle. I really, really love what I do, taking care of animals. As for retirement, he'll cross that bridge when it's time. I won't retire until I just can't go out anymore. So I have stopped taking any new clients. But with 400 existing patients and 16 of his own horses to tend to, Dr. Lewis isn't ready to be turned out to pasture himself. I have plenty to do. I get out three, four calls a week, we'll say, and I, I enjoy all my, my clients, all my regular clients that I've had. He opened the first veterinary hospital in Howard County back in the 1950s. And as they continue to grow, they opened two other practices. Eventually, he sold the clinics, and now he makes house calls, or barn calls. Come on, Katie. I don't think he'll ever retire. I think he has slowed down a little bit, and he's doing what he wants to do. And well, I should say he slowed down taking on clients, but he still has so many horses here and a full breeding program and racehorse program, so we're very busy with that. Every day, duty starts on his home farm here in Clarksville, checking up on the horses he raises, along with his daughter, Joan Lewis Kennedy. It's been amazing to watch my dad from the time I was a kid, seeing how he works with the clients, with the animals, his diagnostic abilities, I, I've never seen anything like it, his skill with working with the horses, nothing ever, nothing ever scares him. So he's, he's got a way to communicate with them and it's just fabulous. And the feeling is mutual. Come on. Good boy. The horses are at ease around Dr. Lewis. They definitely love him. They definitely know he's, he's safe and he's going to help them. He has a way with them that makes them comfortable. And I give them a little tap. They never know that right. they got the shot. Good boy. OK. All right, buddy boy, you're a good boy. Then you'll get some, you'll get some dinner now. After their vaccines, the horses are ready for their treat, peppermint candy. Good girl. And just a few miles away at the Columbia Horse Center in Laurel, Christy Gapen Hoke is getting her horse Cola, a longtime patient of Dr. Lewis, ready for his spring shots. He's been taking care of Cola ever since I bought him. It's a relationship that both Christy and Cola are comfortable with. Cole has known, you know, Mr. Lewis for, you know, 17 years now. So, yeah, he trusts him. And so we always, you know, for shots and so forth, we just stick with him. Soon, Dr. Lewis pulls in with his traveling hospital in a pickup truck. This is, a, of course, a vet mobile. It's built for veterinarians, and it really works like a charm. From surgical kits to dental equipment, the vetmobile is fully stocked. But for today's routine checkup, a stethoscope will suffice. Wonderful. How old is he, Christy? Uh, I think 35 now. After a thorough examination of the ears, eyes, hoofs, and teeth, Cola took his shot without even flinching. I've stayed with Dr. Lewis as his vet because he knows him, he trusts him, and in the horse world, the horses really have to trust their vets. Otherwise, they can have some bad reactions and become harder to deal with when it's time for their shots and stuff. Something Cola doesn't have to worry about as long as Dr. Lewis is by his side. See if I can keep taking care of you for five or ten years more. Yeah, you're getting gray like myself. <laughs> <laughs>